Jude. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a beautiful cover. Beautiful Thank you. artwork there. And is, am I right? Is this Paul McCartney's that's handwriting? His, yeah, that's his handwriting. That's yeah. his handwriting. Yeah. From his uh, arrangement notes. Ten-year hiatus. Yeah. Why Jude? Um, it was sort of, uh, I wouldn't say a coming of age, but it was taking ownership of that name and all that I've been through since that time, really. Um, and also, you know, I went through a process uh, in uh, 2020 of changing my name by deed poll because I was originally John Charles Julian Lennon. But everybody had always called me Julian or Jules, you know. And uh, I just felt that I was a bit tired of being the second John um, and I wanted to be me, so I changed my name to Julian, switched John and Julian around, so I'm Julian Charles John Lennon. And um, hence, you know, finally being me, finally being Julian um, and Jules, Hey Jude, etc. And so that, that's just one of the many reasons why it's called that. And it's an album, like, like so much that we're seeing uh, of late, that's coming out, that, that's the product of lockdown, you know, when, when all of us <laughs> are in a not-so-splendid isolation. Yeah. That, that, do you think it would have happened without that period? I, I'm, I'm actually not sure, to be honest, because I didn't think I was going to come back to music because I'd been involved in so many other projects. You know, I do um, executive produce uh, documentaries, independent documentaries. I've written children's books. Um, I've been... Uh, I'm a fine art photographer. Um, and I have a foundation called the White Feather Foundation. Mm. Uh, so I, I keep very, very busy. And the idea was also was to see, you know, if I left music alone, what else was I good at? What could I build a foundation upon? And so that's what I've been doing for the last 10 years. And then I found a box of old tapes um, uh, that were in the basement of my business managers and went through them and found hundreds of tapes that mm. I just uh, looked into and found that there were some great songs that I'd left behind that just didn't sit properly with other projects or other albums. Um, but one thing led to another, lockdown came into play and I started digging deeper and deeper. Uh, so this album basically uh, spans about four decades of written and produced music. Amazing. We teased before the break, uh, changing the world one song at a time, and we saw some footage there yeah, of, 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 of Lucky Ones, <laughs> yeah, yes, which yeah. is an exclusive for us. Tell us about that track, because it's going to resonate with everyone at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, well, um, it, it was, you know, again, through pandemic, I think a lot of us were looking in the mirror, uh, wondering what was going to happen. And then at the end of it, when finally being released out of the prison that we were in, it was about really uh, understanding how lucky we truly are. And uh, it's about trying to come together as, uh, as, as people, trying to do better for the world, trying to look at what's possible and, uh, and changing it in a way for the better that, you know, we've still got so much work to do, but um, it's, it's just a, a message of hope uh, and a bit of a chant, chant along song. So yeah. um, I'm just hoping it uh, touches the right people in the right way and that we can, uh, do some good. It's, so the, much, your music is, is wonderful and, and has such a great purpose. I just want to go back to the name of the album, Jude. Yeah, yeah. And of course, Hey Jude was, was written originally. Yeah. It was based on Hey Jules. Yeah. It was a song written in order to, the story goes. Yeah, yeah. It's written as a song of consolation for you, to comfort you. Yeah. What, what does the song mean to you? It's, it's, it's a double-edged sword, really, because although it was a song of support and love, um, you know, Paul was concerned about what was going to happen to me. You know, it was the first Beatles kid. So um, the limelight was on as well. Um, so it's a great song in that respect, in, in, in that message of support. But, you know, it's also a dark reminder of what happened at that time when Dad walked out the door and just left Mum and I, you know. Um, so I have to take that on board and understand what that really means. And it's all about, you know, lyrically speaking, about making things better in your life, taking ownership, understanding that, um, hopefully moving forward in a, in a positive way, which is all, all that I try and do, really. On, on mum's behalf more than anything. So, yeah. I mean, part of the reason I do what I do is, is because I want to make my mother proud. Always have done, you know, oh. that's the key to my, my motivation. Goodness. It, it, honestly, it's great to talk to you. Thank you. Julian, thank you so much for coming. My in, absolute pleasure. Thank you studio. very, very much. And all the very best with the album. It's got an amazing heritage behind it thank and you. a great future ahead of it. Thank, thank you. Thank you very Brilliant. much. My pleasure. See you. Super.